Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and coming up here, I got a Raiders Patriots preview, some keys to victory. We'll talk about the playoff picture, AFC wild card standings, all that good stuff. But hey, if you notice the stress shirt that I'm rocking, don't look that bad, right? And if you want 20% off your order, all you got to do is use promo code chatsports at roan.com slash chatsports. Roan is hooking up the nation with the most comfortable dress shirts that you will ever wear and Look at that. Look at all this flexibility I got. I feel like a brand new man. Heck, I feel more mobile than Derek Carr in the pocket. So when you talk about this upcoming game, it's a big game. This is, this is the Raiders' biggest game this season. No doubt about it. If you lose this one, it's over. Done. Pack it up. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next season. The Patriots are a tough football team on the defensive side of the football. If this game was in New England... I don't know how I would feel about this question that I'm about to ask you all right now. So scale it for me. 1 to 10. What is your confidence level in the Raiders beating the Patriots? It's a heavy question. It's a loaded question because there's so many different areas that you can go with this. But I do have to ask those tough ones because I know I got a lot of real ones down in the chat. All right, y'all. So we got a Raiders Patriots preview. I'll give you the five keys in terms of if McDaniels could stumble across this video and say, oh, I really would like to win this game. I'm not trying to tank. Then we'll give you those five keys. Before I show you that, though, I do got to show you this AFC playoff picture. The Patriots sitting right there as the number seven seed with a seven and six record. And they obviously want to continue to win because they got other teams in front of them, including two of their own division rivals for the AFC wild card. You got the number eight seed, the Los Angeles Chargers at seven and six. The Jets also at seven and six. The reason why New England's got that advantage, tiebreaker, strength of schedule, and then just a crap ton of five and eight teams. The Raiders, even though it's not a great chance, people didn't give the Raiders a lot of a chance last season. And guess what? You won four straight games and you found a way to get in. And I believe if you win this week and you continue to win, all four of your games, you're going to make the playoffs. So if you don't already know, we are going to be doing a watch party on week 15 for Sunday. It was supposed to be a Sunday night game, but for whatever reason, the NFL said Giants and Commanders is better, which is mind-blowing to me. So hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and I want you to get loud with me, Jeremy Chuggs, our week 14 tri -band. I know he's going to show up, and we are going to be balling the heck out. Heck, there's been some people saying that they might come and try to join Mount Rushmore. We'll see if that happens, but if you do, you already know. We got four guys on Mount Rushmore that have helped this show grow, and I know that they're going to be there cheering on the Raiders this week. Huge shout out to Tri Van, Wild 114, Raider Ron, and David Zahn. So if you all don't already know, we are going to get into our five keys to victory coming up here on today's show. And a lot of the times when I do this, it's kind of straightforward because one of the reasons why the Raiders are so frustrating is you got the Offensive Player of the Year in Josh Jacobs and you got Devontae Adams. That's two of your keys every single week. So let's get Josh Jacobs going. Not only just early, let's get him going at the late of the game too because if you're a defensive player and you got to try to tackle 28, that is not a fun thing to do whatsoever. On top of that, look at these numbers right here. In wins this season, five games, Josh Jacobs, 131 carries. 769 yards, that's a 5.9 yard average, 8 rushing touchdowns, 174 receiving yards. Compared to the 8 losses, 138 carries, only 4.6, 3 rushing touchdowns. It's not rocket science. Get 28 the football, he's just been that freaking good this season. Today's preview is presented by Roan. Go to R-H-O-N-E.com slash chat sports. We also were nice enough to put that link for you guys in the comments and in the description of today's video. The commuter shirt is the perfect shirt for anybody out there that likes to look halfway decent. And also the reason why I love it, when I think about a dress shirt, I like simplicity. The fact that I can machine wash this and I don't got to worry about a dry cleaner, a plus there. It's flexible. You can stretch. You can move around in it. It's not going to wrinkle up on you. On top of that, the fact that it's got this gold fusion technology, you're going to smell great. So even if you're sweating at work or dealing with some other type of BS, you are always going to look and smell your best. So you can get 20% off right now by going to roan.com slash chat sports. The shirt that I'm wearing, it is called the commuter shirt. It's great for hanging out with your friends. 
maybe on date night. Hey, maybe you got to wear it to work as well. It's a great holiday gift, and I promise the nation out there, if you don't know what to get somebody and you know they wear dress shirts, they're going to love this Roan dress shirt right here. So one more time, it's R-H-O-N-E.com slash chat sports. 20% off your entire order. Let's go to the next key to victory here. Stay aggressive offensively. McDaniels, I'm going to try to be super positive this week. And a lot of that depends on you, okay? But what I never have figured out is for the Raiders, when you're clicking on all cylinders, I don't get why the Raiders at times when they're clicking, totally switch it up. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. And if McDaniel sit up there and say, ah, we don't think that we get conservative, bullshit. Look at these numbers here. In the third quarter this season, which seems to be the quarter where the Raiders lose all their mojo, at least most of the time, 78 attempts. Look at all the other quarters. That tells you point blank period that when it comes to the second half, third quarter coming out of halftime, the Raiders game plan is to take the football out of Derek Carr's hands. And then in the fourth quarter, you got to throw so much because you're trying to play catch up. If you show confidence in your quarterback, it then shows your entire team that you have confidence, I'm going to have confidence. If your leader doesn't have confidence in your quarterback, I think it's really hard for your team to have confidence. And on top of that, the quarterback Derek Carr is, when he's got that swagger, that he's just that mean dude, he's an elite quarterback. He's a top 10 guy. When you don't show confidence in him and he gets timid, he's a bottom 20 quarterback. So show confidence in your dude and put the football in his hands. And if he's cooking, let him cook. Because the way the Raiders are going to win, the way the Raiders are going to make the playoffs is if this Derek Carr stands up. So again, you're going to have Devontae Adams. You're going to have Hunter Renfro, Darren Waller. You invested $344.5 million in Derek Carr, Adams, Renfro, and Waller in the offseason. And now you got Josh Jacobs playing as an offensive player, the way that he's been playing, offensive player of the year. All the dudes on the field at one time. Show some confidence in your offense because this was a top five projected offense. Show confidence in them. So what do you think, y'all? Give me a key to victory for Las Vegas up against the New England Patriots. I need a key. One key. I'm giving you five. Might even give you an extra one. Give me one key to victory against New England. The next key here, not rocket science. Feed Devontae Adams. If you put the football in Josh Jacobs' hands and Devontae Adams, let's say 40 times a game, I believe that you're going to win most of those games. Some people might say, man, that's a lot. When you're playing this good and you're in a do-or-die situation, you don't have another choice. The fact that Devontae Adams did not get a single catch in the second half against the Rams is despicable. And coaches can say, well, you know, we tried to get him the ball. No, you didn't. You didn't try to get him the football. Devontae Adams is the one player on the field where if you, Derek threw the ball 20 times last week. If you threw the ball all 20 times to Adams, I wouldn't be mad. You know why? Because he's just that good. And there's no excuses for not trying to get him targets. This season, in wins for the Raiders, Adams is averaging 7.6 catches and 117.6 yards. And losses this season, Adams, 5.4 catches, 82.4 yards. Some people might say that that's not that big of a difference, but 35 yards. And when you look at the amount of one-score games that this Raiders team has lost, that could be your difference. And if that's the difference between winning and losing, I am going to put my money on number 17 making a play if it's realistically with the game on the line. And in the entire second half this season, the way the Raiders have to have that mindset is as soon as the third quarter starts, the game's on the line because you have yet to show your fan base that you can even kind of play in the second half. We got more keys to victory, but even though I'm going to New York this week, I'll still keep you guys up to date on Twitter and on Instagram. Also, if you want to hit me up on Locals, I'll be over there as well, providing a lot of content. I do got to give a shout out to our Week 13 and Week 14 NFL Pick'em Challenge winner. Shout out to Dan K with Gorilla Rilla, and shout out to Aaron Devandry. Appreciate you guys always participating and trying to get that extra content. If you want to join a bunch of people on Mount Rushmore and a bunch of real ones, scan that QR code and let's Let's get the Locals train rolling because the people I've been able to meet on Locals this year, I think everyone who's on Locals would admit our friendship, our relationship has grown a lot on that channel. And it also transpires here on the Raiders Report YouTube show. Let's go to the next key to victory. You got to take care of the football, man. You got to do everything in your power to not turn it over. And the reason why I say that is this. The Patriots are a team that's going to try to force turnovers. They're a good defensive team. But offensively, the Raiders are the better offensive team. 
And if you don't give New England short fields, you're going to win this one. From a takeaway standpoint, a turnover standpoint this season, let's look at the numbers between the Raiders and the Patriots. Defensive inter interceptions, Patriots 13, Raiders 4. Defensive fumbles, this is recovered. Patriots 8, Raiders 6. So there that shows you alone, New England can force turnovers better than silver and black. In terms of turning the ball over though, the Raiders have been better. But the turnover differential does favor New England. If the Raiders don't turn over the football and you don't give New England short fields like Arizona did on Monday Night Football, I'm a believer you're going to win the game. The final key to victory here on the Raiders report is this. Blitz. Be aggressive. When Patrick Graham lets his players be athletes, and, you know, I always love one of our loyal watchers here. His name is Radagoff Productions. He always says, let your athletes be athletes. Or it's something like that, Radagoff, right? And I mean it because when you allow your players to just go downfield and get pressure, that's when the Raiders' defense plays its best. When you play soft coverage and you sit back and you just bull rush with four, and if Crosby doesn't get home, you let the quarterback sit back there and pick you apart. Mac Jones is not that good. He's not that great of a quarterback. Seven touchdowns. I believe he has eight interceptions this season. But realistically, he's been a quarterback his entire career. When you make him beat you, He's not going to do it, and I don't think that he is going to do it. On top of that, if I'm Patrick Graham, I go talk to McDaniels this week. I go talk to Ziggler. I go talk to Bull Hardigree, all of those offensive people that have been around Mac Jones, and I say, how can we get after this kid? What does he do well? What doesn't he do well? That's what a good coach would do. And for the love of God, from what I've seen, you get pressure on him. And sure, most quarterbacks struggle under pressure, but that offense is not nearly good enough. Not nearly good enough. To get picked apart again and what happened with Baker Mayfield this past week you let him sit back there you let him play backyard football and he picked you apart can't happen again do or die time and then my final key we're gonna throw in a bonus one you got to play a full 60 minutes full 60 minutes and it's your job to imagine if I was at work and I was like you know what I'm gonna check out an hour early nobody's gonna like that your boss isn't gonna like that fans don't like that and the Raiders have shown us almost every single game this year minus the Saints game, that there's times you're like, this team is really good. And then you look at some of the games that this Raiders team has blown. I mean, when I say play 60 minutes, you're 0-4 when having a double-digit lead at halftime this year. That's just despicable. Like, this graphic alone makes me want to throw up. If you would win three out of four, because let's be real, the Chiefs are the only team on here where I'm like, you know what, okay, they're the Chiefs. The Jags, five wins. Cardinals, four wins. Rams, four wins. If the Raiders hold their on to their lead in all of these games, you're nine and four. Nine and four. At worst, you should be eight and five. At worst. And all you had to do is play a full 60 minutes. It's a head coach's job. It's the defense job. It's the offense. It goes down to every single person all the way down to the line. Long snapper, shout out to Trent Sieg. It's a full team effort. And if you see somebody on the bench slacking, the game's not over. Get your ass up. We got a game. And that's what it does to be a good team. You need to rally your troops because you're an underdog. I get it. You're at home. I'm glad the Raiders are an underdog. They play better this season when they are underdogs. But it takes a full team effort to play 60 minutes. So give me your score predictions right now, Nation. Raiders, Patriots. New England's a one-point favorite. I got to know, though. I got to know. Here we go. Keys to victory. Get Jacobs, Devontae Adams the ball. Duh. Stay aggressive, McDaniels, with Carr and the entire offense. Take care of the football. Get pressure on Mac Jones and play a full 60 minutes. If you do those six things, you will be victorious and you will get your sixth win on Sunday.